What the hell is up guys, Chad Malonu here with the Chad Malonu Fitness YouTube channel. Welcome to season one, episode one. I don't know the name of the series yet, still thinking about it, but welcome to episode one. So what is this series gonna be about? Well, there is going to be a four part series. I'm gonna document the summer, the fall, the winter, and then the open. So. During the summer, I'm going to document my training for the CrossFit Open, which is next February. I'm also going to be documenting my entrepreneurial journey for the Chad Malonu Fitness Channel, uh, online training business, and everything else in between. I have a bunch of ideas for this summer, so I want to document it all for you guys to show you what it's like being an entrepreneur at the bottom, trying to build to become to the top. Really excited to show you guys all of like the behind the scenes stuff. A lot of people on uh, YouTube, Instagram, all they're showing you is their PRs, uh, all their greatest stuff that they're doing in their lives, but I want to show you the back. End. I want to show you the behind the scenes all the hard work that we put in to get to where we want to be So welcome to episode one. We're heading off to the gym right now. We got a training session with the boys I'm excited to show you guys. Let's fucking get it Wondering how did I get so low I thought you were a ten Something more than a friend Now I'm tired of the same old host All the time that we spent Was a waste in the end Like no, 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 no Oh, no, 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 no Feeling so low, 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 low Cause I'm tired of the same old, tired yeah. of the same old First day of class, man I'm surprised that she made it Her booty's hidden in public, but that's just Instagram famous Fleaky eyebrows, no tweezers, bet that she can hide her features The only time she's not on Snapchat is when she ties her sneakers Likes to wear makeup, and it usually shows I'm talking contours and concealers, shit I don't even know In the club When that shit opens, bet she stay until it close And VIP with all the bottles that she don't even own You're not rich? Well damn, your chance is probably gone The only FaceTime you'll get is if you answer your phone She got me buying drinks, I know she working Drop it low and shit, I only bought the drink for once I'm back Let's see how close I get, maybe she will notice it But the truth is probably not All the girls think she's a bitch, but she's still really fucking hot So when I finally got the courage, I asked if she was a thought She looked me right in the eyes and said, no, I'm really fucking Wondering how did I get so low? I thought you were a tense.
couple of cups. I got to talk it too much. She told me, boy. Guys, what is up? Just finished the workout. Let me turn down the music so I don't get copyrighted. Um, oh shit, I didn't know I was so zoomed in. There we go. Alright, so just finished the workout. It went pretty well. Uh, I was able to do all those shoulder to overhead on Broken on the 21-15-9, 135 pounds for the shoulder overhead and chest bar pull-ups. But I really, really need to work on my chest bar pull-up game. It's kind of it kind of is sucky. So I have really long arms and I'm a big guy. So gymnastics aren't the best thing for me. But I was able to do the 21-15-9 for the chest for the overhead press on Broken, which I was pretty happy and proud of myself for. Uh, all right, guys. So now is the time where I turn off my athlete mind and I turn on my entrepreneurial mind. So I just got a new online training customer and my express for PayPal hasn't been working so I need to contact my web developer send them a couple of things uh, so we can get that rolling for all the new clients coming in as you guys saw I'm running low on gas I need to go get gas and then I also have work tonight at 430 where for those of you that don't know I'm a waiter on Friday Saturday and Sunday as most of you guys know because I've mentioned that in my vlogs many of times but for anyone that's new that's what I do on the weekend so let's get right into this entrepreneurial stuff Bam! Woo! Ah, oh, yeah, it's been kind of cold out, guys, recently, so I'm wearing shorts and I'm feeling like a, I don't know, I'm feeling like a scrub because everyone else is in their sweatsuits. But anyways, I got this, oh, shut up, Bruno Mars. I got this Optimum Nutrition Bar. I've never had it before, so I'm gonna give it a try. Let's do a little taste test right now. Let's see how this tastes. I've always wanted to get this one. Every time I go into the gas station, I see it. So what is this, the chocolate brownie? Mmm, pretty solid, pretty solid. So I just wanted to touch upon uh, balance with you guys and probably the most difficult thing that I struggle with uh, trying to balance all the different aspects of my life. So let's just go over the different aspects and the different things I'm working on that I have to balance and work with. So one, we have full-time uh, college student, right? We have part-time employee at a barbecue restaurant waitering on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday nights. Uh, we have my online coaching, which is starting to come up a little bit. We have my social media, so YouTube, Instagram, all that good stuff, staying on top of that, making sure I'm posting for YouTube very often, for Instagram every single day. Uh, we also have relationship. We all, I have a relationship with Caitlin, most of you guys already know that. Uh, family stuff and my athletic stuff. So uh, becoming or trying to become a CrossFit athlete. So about six different things that I'm trying to balance with. So right now I'm in kind of a crossroads. I have two hours before work at 4.30. I need to eat post-workout because obviously if you want to be a good athlete, you need to eat directly after you train and you work out. That's going to take up a little bit of my time. I also have a couple of Chad Mall New Fitness things I have to do. One is I have to send my API PayPal information to my web developer uh, because he's setting up PayPal Express for me. Two, I just got a new client like I mentioned before, so I have to send them the Chad Mall New Fitness questionnaire. And then I have to shower, get ready for work. So we got a whole bunch of shit. I need to get done. I also have a whole bunch of homework I need to get done because it's almost the end of the semester. So this is like when they decide, oh, we're going to just pile it on the students now instead of, you know, giving it to them before and earlier in the semester, uh, which is stupid, you know. But anyways, it is what it is. You have to always put your priorities first. So whatever you want to accomplish the most, make that your most priority. So right now I'm going to go eat and then I'm going to go do the channel on the fitness stuff, and then I'm gonna go to my part-time job. So priorities 
our key. Alright guys, so I'm sending over the questionnaire right now to my new client. And I just wanted to show you what that looks like. So the chat moment finished questionnaire, thanking the person for purchasing and joining Team CMF. And then we have what is 17 questions. And then they fill out a smart goals worksheet where they write like their draft goal. And then they fill out the smart goals, which is uh, what is your goal specifically? How would you measure it? How are you planning on achieving it? How is it relevant to your life and everything? And what is your time duration? And then you draft and then you create your final goal. And just then the last paragraph is thanking them and saying that I'm just looking forward to kicking ass with them and all that good stuff. But since... Uh, this client was actually referred to me by one uh, by one of my other clients. It's actually her sister, and this is purchased as a birthday gift for her. I'm going to add in a little thing just saying happy birthday and all that good stuff. So here we go. About to put in that work. Let's get it. to my waiter and job. I'll be back in three, two, one. Hello, I'm back. What's up guys, so I just got back from work. It is 11.36 at night. Uh, I'm on my computer now, I'm reviewing client emails. So I just received the email back with the fitness questionnaire from my new client. I reviewed everything from it, and from that I'm going to determine uh, the best way to program her nutrition and her customized program. And I always promise that once I receive the questionnaire, I will have their programs to them in 72 hours hours. That is a Team CMF Chad Malinu Fitness guarantee. This is going to bring you guys to the end of the video here. So it's 11.37. I probably won't go to bed for another hour around 12.31. What am I going to do from 11.37 to 12.31 o'clock in the morning? I'm going to work on social media stuff. So this is literally where I'll go into my phone. I will type in the hashtag fitness on Instagram search and I will scroll through all the posts that I can find about fitness and I will reach out to certain people that I think would be a good fit for Chad Malinu Fitness Online Coaching or for somebody that I think would be interested in my YouTube videos or just someone that I think could gain value from my Instagram and I'll just leave a comment. I won't, I won't say, hey, uh, go check out my website. Hey, go check out my YouTube. Hey, go check out this. I won't ask them to do a single thing. All I'm gonna say is a compliment Tell them to keep up the good work and just really just be nice. <laughs> I'm going to go through people's pictures. I'm going to comment on them. I'm going to like them. I'm just going to say nice, awesome things in hopes that they will come to my Instagram, see the value I give out, and just decide to you know stick around and join the Team CMF family. It's pretty much what I'm going to do for the next hour, guys. It's the small little things, the small little details that make a difference. Like going into Instagram, searching the hashtag related to your field and just reaching out to people and just being nice to people. It's pretty much like going to a convention. So it's pre imagine this, like you're pretty much, it's like going to a business convention for your specific field and shaking somebody's hand and introducing yourself. That's pretty much what I'm doing by going into the hashtags that are specific to fitness and just reaching out to people and being nice and leaving comments on their pictures. It's pretty much like a meet and greet. That's gonna to come to the end of this video. Hit the subscribe button if you guys are interested or you want to follow me on this journey. Like I said, I'm going to document this summer. I'm going to document this fall. I'm going to document up this upcoming winter. And what I'm documenting is my entrepreneurial journey. I'm taking you guys through the ins and outs of being a young entrepreneur, a 21-year-old entrepreneur uh, with big, big dreams. I'm going to take you guys through every single step. Every little detail I'm going to take you through. Uh, I'm also going to be documenting my journey to becoming a CrossFit Games athlete, which next 
February is the process for making it to the games, the CrossFit Open. So I'm gonna document my training from now all the way until next February. Season one starts now. I still haven't decided what I'm gonna call this series, but by the time I post this video, I will have obviously already decided. So this is season one, episode one of something that I'm not sure what the name is yet. Hit that subscribe button and join me on my journey, guys. Thank you. What's up, guys? Welcome to season one, episode one. I don't know the name of the season yet or of what this show is going to be about, but I'm definitely going to tell you what it's going to... What the hell is up, guys? It is Chad Maloney here with the Chad Maloney Fitness Channel. Welcome to season one, episode one. I don't have the name yet. I'm th still thinking about it. By the end of this video, I will have the name, but I pro... Ah! What the hell is up, guys? Chad Malone Fitness here with the Chad... Ma... Shit! 